right, so this is my work table. That is a workbench over there. This is a work table. That is a workbench. This is a table. The work table gives me the ability to 360 degrees around work on whatever I'm working on. Uh, I take two saw horses. I set them up in the middle of the workshop. And I take this old piece of OSB that I got for free. And I work on it. Um, now, my problem is, is I'm really tired of I, if I'm doing... A big project I don't need this I take it apart and I put the OSB in the wood storage area and then when I go to clean up I bury it and I gotta redig it out so I want to find a spot for my work table top to go and I think I found it but wait a minute all right are you ready because here comes a tip um, with sawhorses, I've taken and I've put in some foam on the tops. Just duct tape the foam on the tops. What that is going to do is when I'm sawing through is I'm not going to have to worry about where the saw blade hits. Because if it runs through over to the top of the sawhorses, it's literally just going to just gnaw through this foam. A uh, nice, simple, easy one. It's one that I picked up from probably somebody on YouTube from uh, somewhere on there, but... Great job. Put some styrofoam on top of your sawhorses. Also another one, and this is where you get two tips in one, so whew, calm down. Um, is If you take an actual full sheet of styrofoam, try to get as thick as you can go, you can lay that on the ground, and literally you can just rip right on the ground. So you don't have to worry about it, because you're just going through that foam. It does kill the foam, but you're, then you don't have to worry about sawhorses. Like so ripping through foam, great. There's a tip. Now let's get you back to your, your regular scheduled... Um, build. So I have this crazy idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to suspend my work table top from the ceiling. I'm going to run uh, the cable up through the rafters down and put it on a hand crank. And then I can crank it up when I don't want it. And when I do want it, I'm going to crank it down. So let's get dusty because I haven't been up there in two, almost three years. So all right, so first thing that I did to try to figure this out is I wanted to find the placement that I wanted the table to descend from and then the place that I wanted to run the crank to. Um, so when I did that, one thing you want to figure out is I got lights. You got to get in between the lights. Okay, I got an outlet. Can't hit the outlet. And the garage door. The last thing I wanted to do was make it so I had to have the garage door down because obviously it's a nice day out. And I wanted the door open. So... Those are some things that you want to think about when you're trying to figure out where the door or where you want the table to suspend from. And I got kind of in the most middlest section that I could of the shop. And uh, then the next was the hand crank. So obviously, once you have a set where the table's going to go, that'll kind of give you a good indication to where you're going to have to have the crank. So if, if I do it here, I'm going to run up, over, down. So because I don't really have a whole lot of open wall space... Uh, I'm going to just put it a little higher, but I'm going to put the hand crank right here and it should run pretty nice up and over. So. Uh, I got this one piece of wire right here that's probably not going to get hit with the uh, cable. But the word probably is, is the part that bothers me. So uh, what I'm going to do is I took some one by and I'm going to make a, a stop for it. And uh, just running this along the side of the wire, the wood. And then I got a piece of angle iron that I had left over. And I'm going to put that so if the wire does rub anywhere... Well, the cable rubs it's going to rub on that metal plate instead of rubbing through the insulation of the wire 
and then I'm over there cranking on the metal handle of the metal cable and get electrocuted. So that's one thing that I'm going to do right now. So I don't end up dying later on. I feel like that's kind of a good idea. All right, so I got the cable. I'm just going to start off here. Runs up. You can see the pulley that I put in the ceiling. Runs up over to this side. I ran that pulley there. Cable comes down through the insulation into there. So let's button it all back up. <laughs> be tested I'm already seeing a tremendous amount of flaws in this idea um, which I will discuss later and you're probably about to see one now this will be its first ascend into the ceiling uh, I wanted to do this because I use a wooden dowel to hold it on instead of a uh, piece of metal like I intended so just in case we'll see what happens Okay, so uh, I did anticipate the tipping. In case you were wondering, no, I I knew it was gonna, I knew it was gonna tip. Um, but it does sit nice and flat. I got to see them like I like, I wanted it to. Worked. As you see the table is done it rises and it falls I did anticipate it tipping around I knew holding from the center point like this was gonna give me that because I have the insulation ceiling I didn't want to do a four corners to that single post up if you don't know what I'm talking about you connect to each four corners come up to a centralized and raise up because to do that I would have had to remove the insulation if I had open rafters I could do that and it would stabilize a lot and it would also help with the next potential issue that I was seeing. And um, grabbing it from the center and holding that much weight up, uh, I think eventually time is going to take its toll and it's going to kind of umbrella um, and come down. But at that point, it might be time for a new table anyway. Um, it is, I used 5 eighths and I lit, double layered it. Um, the table is a 4 by 4 table. Um, so it is over an inch thick, so that might hold up for a little while. Um, the second problem is I did use a wooden dowel to clip to. I anticipated using a metal rod. The metal rod that I had was a little too big. I probably will get a smaller metal rod for that, but it works. It does work. It does ascend. It does come down. It does exactly what I want to do when it gets out of my way. 
And it's pretty cool that I have a table that does that. Um, coming down a lot faster because you just kind of let it fall. But like I said, I did anticipate that one all the way up. So you can kind of guide it. Um, I hope you've been entertained. I hope you enjoy seeing this in future videos. And uh, we will see you next time.